Why are the Mount Lofty Ranges water resources so important? It's a big question to ask and the answer comes that it's the source of water for farms, it's the source of people who have water for, for their little farm dams and a lot of enjoyment comes from that. It's also the source of water for the Adelaide Hills and the Plains and it's a very complex area and we've started to develop it and now we have reached the situation with thousands and thousands of small decisions made by all the people that live there who've got to the stage that we've developed nearly all the water resources that are available. Peter Cullen was a great thinker, one of the great people who thought a lot about how Australia should, should manage its water resources. And when the government was starting its Thinker in Residence program, one of the first people it chose was Peter Cullen. And as part of his report to the government, he looked while he was here up at the Adelaide Hills and said, this area needs to be managed. It's now fully developed and we have to look after the water resources of the Adelaide Hills. So he recommended very strongly to the government that it should proclaim the Adelaide Hills or prescribe them and start to manage them as a water resource that was fully developed. You never really separate water from land. Water flows over land and when you capture it in one place, then it's locked up there and used there. When somebody wants to use some water elsewhere and the, the whole resource is fully developed, we have a problem. We need a regime where we have a simple rule that says if one person wants to take more water, someone else has to take less. And one of the ways to do that is to let people negotiate with each other and say, look, I will be prepared to pay you to move your dam from your farm or your property to my property. And that's sometimes called trading, but it's really negotiation. It's about facilitating trade when we have full development. It's not like water trading in the River Murray, where you move water from Shepparton through down to Echuca and from Echuca down to Mildura and, and from Mildura down to Renmark and on all the way down to Murray Bridge. We're talking about adjustments within a local environment, within a little subcatchment, a tiny part of the Mount Lofty Ranges. It's not really trading, it's just about adjustment and about improving opportunities for everybody in a local area. This is not having a big market. These are one-on-one -on -one transactions between people who agree with each other that they can make adjustment without harming anybody else. In places where there are big farms, Sometimes you do get foreign investors coming in, but that's part of Australia and part of what's made Australia wealthy. The really interesting thing is they normally don't stay for long because to run a farm well, you need local knowledge and local understanding. And time and time again, people have come into Australia thinking about investing in agriculture from the other part of the world. Unless they come and live here and become part of the community, they fairly soon leave. Why? Because you need local knowledge to um, run a farm well and running it from the other side of the world loses money. We can speculate about these sorts of things and talk about speculation. The reality is this so rarely happens other than among families that it's, um, it's a very, very rare event, particularly with small areas and small catchments. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll find, and this is the most common thing, that somebody in fact sells the water to themselves in the sense that they form a company and for taxation reasons they want to move ownership of the dam into a company and out of their own structure or into a family trust. So there's often there are transactions that occur which are about just managing your, your um, investments. In the Mount Lofty ranges nobody has to fear about big investors coming in from overseas and taking over all the water resources. They won't do that. The economics are not in it. It doesn't add up. If you're really interested in finding out more about this, one of the things you can do is go to the videos that some of the farmers have prepared about their experiences. The interesting thing around the world is almost in every case when a plan's been put in place, after it's over, farmers talk about the wonderful lessons they've learnt and about the tremendous improvements that have come from starting to manage water resources properly. Your business will do better, your environment will do better, and your community will do better.